What happened? I'd been home about 20 minutes and my mobile rang. Um, I answered it and this gentleman said, hello, I'm from Lloyd's Bank, the fraud department. So I went, oh yeah. So I said, well, yeah, what is it then? So he said, £64 has been taken out um, in a town near Manchester. So then he started to question me. He really, in the end, was, he was interrogating me. He was polite all the way. There was no nastiness. He said, look, we're here now to help you and to make your account secure. So first of all, get your bank card and give me the details off your bank card. So well, you've got them. He said, no, you'll give me the details. He said, I need to go check that it hasn't been cloned. He said, because at the moment, the security level isn't high. I said to him, look, something's not right. He said, oh, no, you must log on to your bank account. Log on right now. But he then started to quote what I'd spent, had I spent this amount at Asda, had I spent this and this. So I thought, well, then that's when I thought he's actually in my account. He's actually in my account right now. So that's when I said, oh, look, I have to go. So you know, I have to go. Put the phone down. I rang the bank and they put a stop on everything on that. I rang um, Action Fraud and reported it to them. The next morning, um, I found out he'd actually got onto my email addresses. He'd got onto my Facebook account. He'd blocked my children. He's like invaded my privacy. He'd got photographs of me for a week, fortnight, maybe longer than that. I didn't go out of the house. I didn't even go in my own back garden. I was that frightened. Even now, I'm still on edge. I shouldn't have to live like this. It, it ruins your life, really, in one sense. You know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's awful. You know, now to live in fear that, you know, it's not the fact, as I say, that he's got that he nearly got the money is the fact that I'm out there now, they've got all my details. What are they going to do with them? They could do passports, they could do anything with it. You know, they've got my previous addresses. You know, and I, I quizzed him all the way through. He kept reassuring me. These these scanners or fraudsters can actually, you know, change a number um, by some type of software. All I can say to anybody, if you ever get a phone call, politely put the phone down and ring that number yourself. If the other person on the other end is genuine, they won't mind you saying, can I put the phone down and I'll ring you back. This, knowing my identity is out there now and not knowing what could be done with it, is worse than anything. I'd rather him take all the money and not touch my identity and not got into my, my personal side. I feel I've been like invaded and, and all my privacy's gone now. And I can't get it back. I'd, I'd give anything to get it all back, anything.